Hey guys, got a quick one for you today. So this is how to replace your serpentine belt. So first you're gonna go ahead and um, support, actually first you're gonna support the engine. Um, right here I'm using a four x four, you can use a two x four, anything so you don't damage the oil pan. Um, you're gonna go ahead and remove the motor mount. It sits in here, just like that. And they're all size, I believe 17. If you have a flat wrench, one that comes out straight, I mean, you could probably manage to do this uh, without removing the motor mount, but I do not have that. So go ahead and use a regular wrench here. Now you're gonna spin it counterclockwise as if you're loosening it, and that's gonna go ahead and release the tensioner. And while you have it in that open position, you can pop the belt off and put on a new one. So the way I did it is I used an extra wrench to leverage this. You can latch that on. Do it. You get the idea. You'll just have to latch that on there. Pry up, and I managed to take it off from the alternator. And you're gonna have to fish it off around behind the tensioner. After some fighting with that bolt, as you can see, I partially stripped it. Please be careful. Don't snap your fingers trying to trying to whip this thing around. See, it's nice and tight. And you wrapped it accordingly. Um, proper routing process for this off the tensioner, under the roller, over the radiator, goes straight all the way down. Oh. Oh. Right here below the air compressor, straight across to the crankshaft, around, and it goes over the compressor clutch, I believe this is, but not over. The back side is facing in on this pulley. Do not put the rib side facing in. It comes back up. And here it is. It comes back around the tensioner. Good luck, guys. Don't hurt yourself. Patience is key.